welcome back to my kitchen cooking with love with mary today i'm going to be showing you how i do my fried livers so i i have my uh livers already what i did was i soaked them in a little vinegar overnight drained it off and then i uh put some about a half a cup of buttermilk on them and let them sit for like maybe two hours so uh i just got them out the fridge and i'm using maybe about a pound and a half and so I need to strain it right now. Drain it. Uh, let me see. I got my grease already heated up over here. Also, let me put my livers in this uh, strainer. Kind of get some of this buttermilk off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, uh, get me a towel and just just let them drain off on that towel also. But I'm, what I'm doing now is just shaking them in my sink to kind of get some of this buttermilk, uh, this liquid off of it. Now if you would, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends about it. help get some of this uh, liquid off of it. Seem to be working. Okay. Let me give my hands a quick wash here. I know you're not able to see what I'm doing, so I'm, uh, that's why I was talking, talking you through what I'm, what I'm doing. So, okay. So now, Now my ingredient is gonna be like uh, two cups of all-purpose flour, uh, salt and pepper to taste. So I, I don't, do, I'm not doing measuring on salt because, like I said, a lot of people take a lot of salt. Some people don't. So that's your choice to how much salt and pepper you you want to use. And I got uh, I got uh, a teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a. Uh, and then I soak it, like I say, in my uh, buttermilk, which I use about maybe a half cup of buttermilk and a pound and a half of uh, chicken livers. And I have a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of onion powder. So I got my flour here, two cups of flour, and I got a bag here. Let me kind of adjust my camera for you. I got a bag here that I got doubled, and I'm going to put my flour in here. And uh, I think I'm also going to add, uh, hold on, let me see. I want to put just a little uh, cornstarch in my, in my flour, in my bag. Here. Let's see. So on my two cups of flour here that I have, I'm going to put uh, a tablespoon of uh cornstarch in here and give it a stir oh I got flour everywhere let me see no my stove here I'm gonna adjust my camera a little more so you can see what I'm doing let me see this back some bring this up uh, let's see. 
And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna uh, just move everything this way. So I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna push this back this way. Now you can see what I'm doing. Okay. My flour and my seaweed here. Okay, let me get my gloves on. Let me see how high this eye is. I don't want it too high. Okay, so let me get my seasoning in my flour. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my uh, a whisk, and I'm going to whisk this around to combine all my seasonings together. And I'm going to put my salt and pepper directly on my meat. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to get uh get me a spoon and get me some out. And I'll uh, put it on this plate here. Try not to crowd it out, you know, when you're frying them. I'm trying not to put my hands on it. That's going to be difficult to do. Okay, just bear with me. Get my hands all in it anyway. So, okay. So, this is all I got in my plate here. And I'm going to go ahead on and put me uh, some salt and pepper on it. And I can't use this other hand because I had it in the uh, I touched the livers. A little pepper on it. Oh, let me see. Can I just flip it over? Uh, I'll just do it like that. Uh, okay. Okay, this is good. So now, I'm going to take my flour and pour it into this bag. And put it in this bag. This bag here that I got. I'm going to take my flour and just dump it in there. 
Okay. I'm going to take my livers. And these are chicken livers. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is bring it back up, my pot back up, where you can see it. Okay. Now, let me shake, get my level to shake in this bag. And I am using a Dutch pot, as you can see. Shake it off. And you turn it down. It was real hot. It shouldn't take no more than uh, about a few minutes to cook. Uh, about, um, about 10 to 12 minutes. For how hot you have your, uh, your grease. Like mine was just too hot. I should have checked the temperature of my grease before I put them in there. So it should be like at least 375. I'm going to have to throw these gloves away. Now while those are cooking, now I'm going to get some more out. I'm going to put these in my bag because they are ready to be battered up and my dough is just about ready to come out. Okay, let me check. 
check on this. This one is about ready here. I think that's the one I put in there first when that grease was so hot. But they looking good though. I probably got to fry uh, just a few more after these come out. Okay. And you could you could do hot sauce if you want to, uh, like buffalo style. You can like get your stick of butter and uh and put you like a cup of hot sauce in there and let it melt. And you could toss your uh your gears your liver in there if you want to to do it that way. Oh yeah, they looking good. Go we'll ahead on the season leaves up the last of it. Okay. This, there's about a few more left. I'm going to try to get the ones out of And like I said, if you would, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And tell all your friends about it. Check me out on Facebook. I should have set my, uh, my Alexa off for 10 minutes. I think I'm going to set my camera next time in the next batch. Okay. Get this next batch in. Take your hand in your bag and just go around in there and make sure it's coated good.
I know most kids, I don't know if they like uh, liver. I don't remember eating. I remember my mom cooking liver, uh, like beef liver when we kids, but I don't remember the uh, uh, chicken liver. Okay. Mm, let's get with that back. So we got just a few more over here. Alexa, Alexa, set timer for uh, eight minutes. Okay, so been in there at least two minutes. I know. Now, okay. You know, dealing with chicken, even though these are chicken livers, you have to be very careful, make sure you wash down everything you can bleach. I'm going to have to clean my sink out a little later with some bleach in it once I do this, finish this video with you all. And a good wash. Okay. Yes, okay, so I'm going to be eating this with some dirty rice I made. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be eating these with. Alexa, how many minutes remaining? Okay. And I got a few more in this bag. Let me check this one. Forgot about those. Let me see. to garnish it with some uh, some parsley but I didn't wash it so I don't have time to wash it right now I might just put me some uh, oh oh my goodness I'm scared of these livers Alexa how many minutes left Okay. Um, 
small ones out. So I got that little parsley clean. Some presentation. Alexa, how many minutes remaining? Some in this plate here. Have those are finishing up. Okay, let me 
get my parking chopped up right quick. So I can show you my thin fry up. I'm going to move my pot over some so you can see my uh, finished product here, just my camera. Okay, really uh, partially for presentation. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is get me something here to put me a little hot sauce in. And I'm going to get me one of these small ones here. And I'm just going to dip it in this hot sauce. Just like that. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Good and crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Well, this is my finished product. Okay. Chicken, fried chicken livers. Look at there. That looks gorgeous. Fried, crispy, really good. Okay. If you like this recipe, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and tell all your friends about it. Until next time, bon appetit.